I think the history of emotions, in a way, is a bit of a misnomer for what is done at the centre um, and for what I do. Um, because, of course, as, as we know, the term emotions has only been in use the last 200 years. Um, but I would define it, if pushed, as the history of the way in which people have experienced their feelings, the way in which people have categorised those feelings, and the ways in which the categories and the experiences have interacted over time and how they've changed and how it's neither the categories nor the experiences can be independent from each other. I got into the history of emotions, uh, if, if I'm there at all in fact, uh, through the history of psychiatry, uh, the history of, of self-harm and attempted suicide. Um, my earliest research work was on um, the history of self-harm and the way in which I suppose uh, categories are not self-evident things in the world, they're made by humans. Um, and this led me on to attempted suicide which was organised around a concept of distress. Um, and when I came to study at the Centre for the History of the Emotions, distress was a, was a kind of central part of my work. Um, this idea that people attempting suicide um, were not necessarily mentally or psychiatrically ill, but they were certainly distressed, so then they were emotional. They had uncontrollable emotions or emotions that could only be expressed in, in pathological ways. Um, and that really grew from being a, quite a minor point of my work um, to something that's really become quite central. Like, and this idea of stress and distress, um, there's huge organising categories for 20th century mental health. Um, so yeah, so, so mainly through the study of psychiatry. I research uh, Munchausen syndromes. So um, the original Munchausen syndrome is, uh, was named in 1951. It involves uh, harming oneself or making oneself seem to be ill uh, in order to get medical attention. Uh, Munchausen syndrome by proxy, which involves uh, doing the same thing but to a dependent child. Uh, and then the, the, the new category of Munchausen by internet, which is uh, faking uh, illness on online support forums for cancer and, and leukaemia and various other il illnesses. So it's all about uh, faking illness. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm again more securely in the history of medicine, the history of psychiatry, but emotions do play a central role uh, in much of psychiatry in the 20th and 21st centuries. Strictly on the emotions, um, I have to say that Thomas Dixon's book, From Passions to Emotions, is, is, is brilliant. Um, because of the way in which it makes unfamiliar this incredibly familiar category of the, the emotions and it, and it takes it out of this box marked self-evident things that we've always known about the world um, in a really systematic way. Um, but I mean, in, in general, my interest, as I've, as I've been saying, is not, is not strictly in the, in the his, history of the emotions, but that book um, does the same kind of work as the, as the kind of work that I really like, the work that takes things that look self-evident and obvious about the world and make them seem strange again. I think the field needs to be, is, is perhaps developing in some places towards um, an engagement with neuroscience, neurochemistry, neurology. And this is in one of two ways. There is a, maybe a, a kind of critical strain, um, uh, which is probably headed up by Roger Kuta and Martin Pickersgill, who are talking about um, the sociology of neuroscience and the politics of, 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 of neuroscience and the dangers of reducing our emotional life and our mental life to the neuro. And there are the people who are, who are doing that, who are, who are historians, who are neurohistorians, people like Lynn Hunt and Daniel Lord Smale, um, who are, in my view, troublingly uh, reducing humanity to their neurology and I think the emotions, because the emotions seem to be incredibly uh, well embedded 
in understandings of the brain, understandings of neurochemistry, the history of the emotions is a, is a prime target for this and I think this is something that needs to be resisted and critiqued.